this is Marshall with GenVergers.com and we're going to work on the battery bank. As you've read, I've got a worn out battery bank here and I need to re replace, well, I'm going to remove just the dead cells. And that, I believe, was five dead cells. Um, one of the things I'd like to point out here is this red stuff that we have here. It's been, you know, five or six years, no corrosion. So this uh, battery corrosion spray that we got from uh, the auto auto parts places work really good and that's why all my connections look red. Now one important thing when working with, with high capacity batteries it's uh, not so much the, the voltage um, however you can get a high voltage when you have a string of them. This is a 12 volt system. Uh, the real hazard is working with metal tools and having them cross the battery terminals. You can get an instantaneous, well it turns to molten metal so you have to be very respectful of working on, on these battery banks. And in fact, it's good if you have something that's insulated a little bit better. But anyway, we're going to remove, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, four batteries that have dead cells and try and reconfigure this in such a way that we can bring, it, bring back to life a little bit some of the, the cells that we have here. Uh, if I can get more life out of it, last through the summer, it's more time to save up money for you know, a couple thousand dollars worth of batteries. So, we'll get to it. Um, okay. Um, like I've written, these cells are 125 pounds. So when you pull them out, it's nice that they have these little handles here. And you want to use good body mechanics so you don't throw your back out. And let me figure out the best way to do it. Yeah, 125 pounds. Well, you don't need to see any more. We'll just get the work done. Okay, well we've got two of the two of the batteries out here, and I disconnected the one uh, common ground that powers up the inverters. And I thought I would be really smart by running the generator. And the inverter relays would keep the house powered up while I did this. But of course, when you remove the 12 volt power from the inverters. The relays don't work, so I'm running the generator, but there's no house power through the existing wiring. Oops, I better hurry up before it gets dark. Hi, well, I'll tell you, those are heavy batteries. I'm glad Eric helped me, because I couldn't do it by myself. Anyway, uh, we now have four batteries hooked up. Um, these are my best candidates to be kind of recharged. We're going to see if we can rejuvenate them a little bit. These are my two best batteries. I don't want to pull everything down by hooking them up yet. I want to try and treat these batteries with some special charging techniques that I'll be writing about. So right now we just have a four battery battery bank and we've got five batteries outside no longer useful because they have that dead cell. And uh, moving the batteries was... That was easy. Did you hear it? <laughs> that was easy. And up here we have our trimetric meter and we've hooked that up so that we can get the uh, you know, we have to reset it for the new, you know, 700 amp hours that we're going to have here. And uh, we can watch the depth of discharge. So, well, thanks for joining us.